Hello and welcome to this Suburb Craft walkthrough. Uh, this is um, part of what I've been working on lately. Part of a larger city as a whole is this little block of housing projects here. And these are all, um, uh, how many units are in these? I want to say four or five or so. Yeah, there are these little buildings that are uh, based on some of the housing projects that I've seen out in California. Haven't actually personally seen or lived in any of them, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, these are just the thing I decided to add to this city because I kind of wanted it to be, you know, not like a, a bad place per se, but somewhere you can tell you don't want to linger around too long if you can at all help it. And, uh, I mean, you got the housing projects with the gated screen doors. You have the wall here with the uh, covered up graffiti on it the alleyway that's got the little bits of cobblestone in it. One can tell that uh, these aren't exactly the nicest of places. Layout wise, they're all the same on the inside, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this one over here, which is right on the corner. Every unit has a different layout in these things, basically, and this ground front unit is the biggest one, I believe. Because it's got a full kitchen, full dining space, the patio here. And, uh, let's see. So there's bedroom one and bedroom two. I think in these units, um, all but one of the individual apartments are two bedrooms. We'll see as we go on, but honestly, I haven't really kept track of that. Yeah, two bedrooms and one bath. So this is the first one on the lower level. I think there's either one or two more on the ground floor. Looks like just one, actually. So we'll look into this one. This one's got a smaller kind of kitchen nook. This is the bathroom. And this is the bedroom. Well, it has two bedrooms, obviously, but... Yeah, and the nice thing about these ones is that they actually have direct access into the garage, whereas with the other units, you have to go around through the outside. And there's a door for this unit's garage here, too. So that is unit two on the ground floor, and then we will go up to the two units on the upper level. And these are four plexes, so just realize that now. This is probably the second biggest unit in the building. It's got a kitchen, little dining area with a window there. And there's the bathroom, and there is bedroom one, and of course bedroom two. So yeah, it seems like three out of the four are two bedrooms. I think this last one is a one bedroom. And as you can see, this is probably the smallest unit in the building. It's more of just a kind of poorly fashioned sort of thing. I didn't really know how exactly to best use this space, so I just figured, well, we'll throw some stuff in there, see how it goes. And I was pretty satisfied with the result, so I kept it. Now this is just one bed, one bath. Uh, basically, just a studio with an um, with a separate bedroom. That's basically what it is. And that is the fourth unit in the building. As I said, all of these buildings are basically the same layout-wise. They just have a bit of differences in terms of the exterior decor and the landscaping in some of them. So we'll take one final little flyby. Uh, there's also mountains here obviously. Um, I'm trying to kind of give this area a hilly type of look. I mean, not in the neighborhoods themselves, but in that, you know, there's always mountains or foothills looming in the distance, basically. And that is emulating the Californian sort of feel that I'm going for in these. Yeah, so they're all basically the same, just slight differences in terms of, as I said, the outside styling and whatnot. And yeah, that's uh, really about it. So, on that note, I think yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the video. So, thank you for watching, and of course, um, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatnot. It's always nice to get these new things in my inbox that are actually, you know, comments or feedback from you guys, and it's a very nice departure from the usual spam, basically. So. 
leave a like or a comment if you'd like. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video for whatever reason, then please do just explain yourself as opposed to simply leaving a dislike and leaving it at that. I always like to know what, if anything, I can be doing better in terms of video quality. So yeah, there's probably going to be a lot more videos from this area to come. Uh, I've kind of simmered down a little bit in terms of the split levels and the main city off on the other side of the mountains there. There's still stuff to do over there, but this is kind of holding my attention more at the moment. And as you can see, there's a lot of new and interesting things going along. As you will see in a Let's Build, that I'll probably be recording and uploading very soon, so on and so forth. So, yeah. As I was saying, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So I'll probably be back again with the Let's Build video very soon. So thanks, and see you then.